Hi, my name is Fahim from the Tasty Tech Tips channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix this very annoying issue or basically if you have multiple monitors in a setup and you try alt tabbing uh, you may have issues where all of your screens go black or some of them go black they hang for a while your game crashes low frame rates issues live streaming or recording not being able to full screen capture a game inside of something like obs where you only capture that game window and not everything else um, this is an issue that plagues all of that and causes issues just on your day-to-day -day use on your computers like I'm showing on screen right now um, and I'll be showing you how to fix that this is a very simple uh, fix especially if you have multiple monitors that's what this video is intended for uh, especially if some of your monitors are not the exact same as the others this is where this issue kind of occurs and this is more directed towards those with Nvidia GPUs however if you do have an Intel or AMD GPU this may be a similar issue or bug uh, that may be occurring on other uh, graphics drivers so let me really quickly show you how how you fix on nvidia gpus and this may be a similar fix on other gpus as well so you're just going to want to navigate to your desktop screen and if you're on windows 10 or lower you're just going to want to right click but if you're on windows 11 uh, or newer you want to click on the show more options hopefully this isn't a thing after uh a, a soon update because no one likes this new menu it just kind of hides all the useful stuff uh, so you're gonna want to go to this menu uh, on Windows 11 or Windows 10 or below and you're gonna want to look for your control panel so for me that's Nvidia uh, if you don't have anything at all make sure to download the correct graphics drivers for your GPU because not having the correct graphics drivers and the latest up-to-date will also cause issues for a lot of people so I'm going to open the NVIDIA control panel and I'll be showing you how to fix this issue once it does load. You're going to want to go to the change resolution under display and then you're going to see all the displays that are connected to your computer. So currently I only have three monitors connected, I usually have four. Uh, but you'll notice that these two are uh, the exact same. This display is my newest one. It's 240 hertz. It's a great display and it does have HDR and then this is the setting uh, that will cause issues for you. So once you go down a little bit, you're going to see this output color depth. This is where the issue starts. So for the standard display nowadays, you're going to see it's all 8 BPC. But uh, newer displays will have 10 and I believe even higher on much higher end displays. And you'll usually want to use that for, you know, more color depth, um, more color accuracy and whatever else. Um, but there's an issue where NVIDIA GPUs, I believe specifically, uh, where it does not interact well kindly with having different displays. I believe this is a bug as far as I know. It's not supposed to cause issues with you all tabbing black screens and causing issues with recording or live streaming or day-to-day -day use. Because like I've said, my games would crash. Uh, I'd have issues where I can't overclock my GPU correctly. It's very weird uh, and it's very annoying. But all you want to do is click 8 BPC and this should fix your issue uh, if you are experiencing a similar issue to me. Um, otherwise, there's a lot of other tutorials out there that work for the majority of people. But I know a lot of people who could not figure this out. And uh, I'm hoping this does help out those of you. And if you know anyone with a similar issue, try showing this to them. Hopefully this does help them out as well. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this fixes your issue and you're able to use your computer normally, record, live stream, whatever you need to do. Uh, I know this has definitely made my life a lot better when using my computer and just improved performance and done a lot of wonders for me. I can actually all tab out of my games now. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to be uploading a lot of these types of tech tutorials and bug fixes and how to do this and that inside of Windows, other operating systems, phones as well. So make sure to subscribe, turn notifications uh, so you always stay up to date. Um, check out our other channels in the description below or tastymediagroup.com. Uh, I hope this video has been informative for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.